Hey folks, I want to explain the cork trick. So this video is in honor of my high school math teacher, Mr. Duncan, who taught it to me and, and a bunch of other students. And I've been teaching this to students in my classes um, the last several years. So you take two standard wine corks. Um, you can also use anything that's vaguely the same shape. So for example, a pen cap and, and a chapstick. And, and what you do is you start with the two wine corks held here in sort of the web between your thumb and your um, index fingers, okay? And then you reach across with both hands and you grab the opposite cork with either your thumb and index finger or thumb and middle finger, okay? So I, I'm using my thumb and my middle finger. And then you just pull the two corks apart and then you can put them back. So the trick is just to learn how to do this. So pull the corks apart, put them back. Pull the corks apart and put them back. So once you get good, you can do it quite fast. Here I'm doing it very fast. Okay. But I can also do it for you um, really slow. There's no sleight of hand at all. Just need to learn how to do it. So try this yourself. Let me explain what might happen to you. Okay. What might happen to you is you might find yourself doing this. You get linked, right? You start with the two corks, you grab the, them and you get linked. And at this point, I usually sort of joke with my students and tell them, oh, you just need to pull harder. And they, they sort of laugh because they, they can tell that these two loops are linked and pulling harder will just make them drop the corks. Okay. So yes, there's a way to do it where, where you get length. And, but your task is not figure out how to do it um, so that you don't get linked. Once you get it, Practice to make it really smooth so you can pull this trick on others. And then let me do it slow a little bit more. I suppose you could also rewind this video if you need, um, if you need to watch it more slowly. Here you go. But what's annoying about this trick is no matter how slowly I do it, it can still, still be hard to figure out to do yourself. If you don't have wine corks, you know, things like chapstick and, and maybe a pen cap will work fine. So here I start with chapstick and a pen cap and same thing. Pull them apart. No problem. All right. That's it. You're seeing it here with your own eyes. I'm doing it right in front of you. And you have to go teach yourself how to do it as well. Find, uh, once you figure it out, find the object that fits best for your fingers and, and practice to make it smooth. It's not, no sleight of hand, but you just have to get used to it once you figure it out. Good luck, and <laughs> if you can't, can't figure it out, maybe write in the comments, and I don't plan to, to give away uh, my secrets or, or these secrets, but <laughs> if, not, and if enough folks Right in the comments, maybe I'll, I'll give you some hints. Best of luck. Enjoy the cork trick.